G'day gorgeous people. Today I needed to cook chili relish because I bought them all out. And I make a sweet chili relish. So I thought, well, maybe you guys might be interested in the recipe. So I'm filming the making of it. I make it in very large batches. So I I do the recipe. Oh gee. I times it a lot. So I just repeat the quantities and cook a lot of it. Because once <clears throat> like one if I was to do the recipe by one I probably wouldn't even get one jar by the time it condensed down and I love it my kids love it I've got friends who love it so I cook it in large quantities sometimes I usually get 18 jars all told that they don't last too long between what I use and what my kids use and then what I give away to friends and other family members so because it takes a lot of time I tend to cook it in bulk Just cutting the onions at the moment. Now the main ingredients are I use green apples. Um, <clears throat> they don't break apart like the red in the cooking process. So I use green and it's a sweet chili relish. It's not hot by any means. You can make it hot by adding the seeds or uh, I don't know if it would work just adding more of the chili it might I think yeah it probably would um, but I find when I get requests for it to be hot I add seeds as well as the full quantity of chilies that the recipe calls for but when I'm making it as a sweet chili relish I I don't do the, the chilies to the quantity that it says I take it from one cup down to a quarter cup chilies
So the recipe calls for two cups of onion, two cups of apple, two cups of sugar, And I use different cups for my ingredients. So I have one for dry and one for wet. So that's two cups of sugar. Two cups of white vanilla. And the actual recipe says one cup of chilies, though that is too hot for my liking. So I have over the time gotten it down to a quarter cup of chilies per recipe. So then I just keep going and adding more until I virtually run out or I can't fit any more in a pot. So there's another one. I think when I meant to say vinegar, I said vanilla. So I will correct that. It's white vinegar that I use. So I'm going to have to cut more onion because that batch only got one.
so I've been stirring it and I initially stirred it to mix in all the sugar and turning the heat down you can see that it's slowly cooking up it does take quite a while when you're doing such big batches as what I am it takes quite a while to cook it down and turn this vinegar essentially turns into a syrup so this is like a a chunky sauce essentially um, some people blend all the chunks up I don't I like it chunky and what happens is it pretty much stays like it is but the vinegar thickens right up I love it I, ha I have it on everything sausages steak rissoles roasts um, sandwiches, you name it, I pretty much use it on everything. It gives a really nice um, flavour to the steak, sausages, rissoles, uh, chicken schnitzels, crumb chicken schnitzels. It's very versatile. So this is the reason why um, I ended up changing my channel name back. I did go with, when I first started my channel, I started out with Casey Creations. And then I changed it and I was off beat art for quite a while because primarily I was just doing the painting. And I thought that sort of fit a bit better, but now with sort of adding so many other different mediums to my channel i just felt changing it from offbeat back to kc creations it, it that that name covers more i think than what offbeat art does so i'm just seeing how it goes so far i'm happy with it and then i'm going to be registering as a business um, so I can sell the stuff that I make. So I'll be starting up a shop soon. And, um, if I do something that you like, um, you can always check the shop. I'll put the link in the video. I haven't done it yet, so the link won't be there. Um, but I will put the link in the video and you'll be able to go to the shop and and purchase stuff if you see something that you like. I'm still having issues with... <clears throat> uh, the first day I released the AliExpress haul uh, video, I did get in and add the links to the description for all the things, but then it wouldn't let me post because I went over the quantity of words you were allowed to have. And I couldn't figure out how to reduce the link size, essentially. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm just waiting for my son to have a couple of days off work. And then I'm going to pick his brain and hopefully get him to be able to help me with that. So I can add the links in for everybody. Because the links are still missing at this point. But I just haven't been able to figure it out. So it keeps not wanting to let me um, edit the amount that I want to put in it. So I may have to just um, pick a few and put them in. So I'll see how it goes when uh, he, has, he has a few days off this week. So hopefully I'll be able to get him to do it then.
even though it looks still looks runny when you stir it you can feel feel the difference in it you can feel it thickening up now but it still has a ways to go It's starting to get there now. I've got the kettle on, the jug, so I can start heating my bottles. I uh, I don't do it where you put the bottles in a big pot. I I do it by um, heating the bottles. And then just before I use them, I tip the hot water out. And that way I have a hot liquid going in to an already hot bottle. And then I put the lid on. And as it cools, the lids go pop. And that vacuum seals then the jar. So it can then sit in the cupboard for probably years. Mine don't last that long so I can't really say. Um, I know I have had them for over 12 months there at one point and they are still fine. Once they open though you put them in the fridge. Once you open a bottle it goes in the fridge but prior to opening when it still has the vacuum seal it's the same as when you get them in a shop and they will sit quite well in the cupboard for a long time. little bit longer to go. You see how much it has uh, dropped down. It was up here. It's down here. But it's reduced down quite a lot. As a when you first initially taste it it's it's sweet and then it has like an after tang bit of a nip to it it's really lovely I love it you'll have to put in the comments if you try it what you think of it I'd love to hear you can see how the way it's bubbling now, it's a lot thicker. Even though it doesn't look like it with the fluid, you can feel it when you're stirring and see it, it's, 
it's going more syrupy. You can see how it's gotten thicker. You can tell by the bubbles. The liquid is more syrupy. And you can tell by taste. Um, you get a, I use a teaspoon and I put it in and I get a little bit of the syrup and I taste it. And if you were to do that from the start right through as you allow it to cook, you can tell by the taste too. Uh, when it's done and also with your stirring spoon I have a, a plate here that I rest mine on because otherwise you know your bench top will get all dirty um, but you can tell on there too by the liquid change uh, when it is done so it goes more more syrupy is the best way to describe it so I will call that done, I reckon. It's been cooking for quite a few hours now. It's now 10.20 and I think I started this at about 4.30, 5 o'clock, if not sooner, is when I started uh, like cutting the stuff and then making the batches and everything else. So it's been cooking probably for about five hours. To reduce down. So now what I do is I've been having my jars heat via putting hot water in them and so they get hot and so what I do now is so what I do now is I have my jar that's been heating with hot water I put in my little funnel And I screw the lid on <clears throat> and you get the jars that have the poppy lids some of these others here are a bit better to show you That one's not going to... There we go. When you get them from the supermarket, that poppy bubble is actually sucked down. And when you open it, you'll hear it pop. And that means you've broke the seal. And that is how you tell, you know if your jar is fresh, if the seal hasn't been broken, it's fresh. So I use these kind of jars to fill up for my relish. And because the jar is hot and the liquid is boiling, as they cool, it creates a vacuum.
that will suck down as it cools and that will vacuum seal it and then you have preserved chili relish that will quite happily sit in the cupboard for months and months and months. and you leave the hot water in your jar, only tip it out the split second before you're going to use it. That ensures you get a beautifully hot jar. So there you go everybody, I ended up with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, these two little fellas and that little one. So what I'll do now is I'll get some masking tape and just put on top of the lids and write the date, that way I know what date they were made on. Uh, please hit subscribe if you want to see what else I might be doing and the like button and if you do happen to make the recipe please come back and let me know what you think I would love to know what you think everybody who tries it absolutely loves it so yeah uh, if you do make it please come back and uh, leave me a comment and let me know alrighty ciao for now bye